Hello and welcome to another mini magical series. And um, you have Lore of the Big One. The law actually means that any spell that affects or has a strength value is increased by one so long as your most of your army is in combat and not fleeing. So pretty good. It affects five out of the seven spells in this law, so it's fairly useful. Gaze of Mork is the signature spell. It's a cast on 7 plus and it's a direct damage. And what you do is roll 4d6 and that's the length that you go in a straight line anywhere in your shaman's forward arc. Anything that touches that line then suffers a strength 4 hit. This is great if you can have many units hitting this so or a big block of unit, not for a thin wide one because then you hit two, two models. So you want to try and if you can, get it through big blocks and many of them. That's when the spell is at its most powerful. If you extend the casting value to 10 plus, it's 8d6. And again, if you can set, set yourself up and see big blocks of unit behind each other or diagonally across, then that's great. Use it for that purpose. The first spell is Brain Burster with a cast on 6 plus, and it's a direct damage spell that targets a single enemy unit. So it's like snipery and you suffer, the target suffers a strength 5 hit. If you can use the lore attribute, that's a strength 6 hit. You can increase the range to 36 and a cast on 9 plus, and it's pretty handy with the lore attribute as well, it's fairly strong, so always good for a first spell. Fists of Gork is a cast on 8 plus, and it's an augment that allows the wizard to buff himself and give himself an extra 3 attacks, 3 strength, and a 6 up ward save. With the lore attribute, it's a 4, 4 strength, so pretty good. If you need to give him that, you know, if you really need to save his life, great, or get some extra damage in there. So right, pretty good. Hand of Gork is a cast on 9 plus. It's an augment with a range of 24, and it allows you to uh, target a single friendly unit, not in combat, and move it around the board with 3d6. If you increase the casting value to 14 plus, that's 5d6. This is really good and very handy if you know how to deploy well or, you know, you need to get a rear charge on someone and it's it's brilliant for that purpose or you can use it with stuff like mangler squigs to mess up someone's charging. So, you know, if you know how to use it well, then definitely you can mess up a whole game and, uh, you know, deployments layout from the start. So this is very good and sneaky. Edge Butt is the fourth spell. It's a cast on 9 plus and a direct damage and it's only applicable on an enemy wizard. So it suffers strength 4 hits with the law strength 5 and multiple wounds d3. And the range though is a bit... It's 4d6, so that's between 4 and 24. Uh, but, I mean, if you really, really have to get rid of that wizard, increase it to 8d6 on a cast on 12+, plus because it's slightly better, but, you know, if you're fortunate, you should hopefully reach your wizard, but be in close range just to assure that you can get this off successfully. The spell ignores armor save, so unless he's got a pretty good ward save, he's doomed. Here we go is a cast on 11 plus. It's an augment with a range of 2d6. Eh. And it allows any units, any orc units at all, it says brackets of any kind within range of the shaman to re-roll fail to hit rolls. Pretty good. And it it lasts until the next caster's magic phase. Foot of Gork is the final spell and it's a cast on 15 plus and it's a template which allows you to get a giant foot template like here and put it anywhere on the board. It scatters d6 inches from wherever you've placed it, comes down very hard and causes strength six or seven with the lore attribute and D3 multiple wounds. Nasty. Amazing if you can get that off well. On an 18 plus, it allows you to stomp multiple times. On a four plus, you get to repeat the spell and if you want to, cast it on the same target that you did before. If Gork wants something stomped, he stomps it. On a two or a three, Gork gets bored and wanders off and then you don't get to stomp anymore. On a one, the enemy gets to use the temper template and place it wherever they want to, stomping the crap out of your own units. Good luck. 
I seem to be growing as the video goes on. It can't fit in the frame. But yes, that was Law of the Big War, and it was very fun to read. I love the names and I love the fluff. And uh, yeah, it's not a very subtle law. They want stuff done, and they're going to be uh, quite obvious about what they're doing. But again, orcs and goblins mixed together, I think, really complements each other in a, quite a comical way. And uh, yeah, it was a great, great, great breed. So um, I hope if you play Orcs and Goblins, this has helped you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I just got stumped. Can I have a health potion? You got one? Uh, sure. Uh. Oh, nice, cheers. What the hell is this? <laughs>